Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate some ways that you can uh, use VS Code and various VS Code extensions to work with CSV files efficiently. So I have opened up here a CSV file in VS Code. And as you can see, it's a plain text file where all the data has been uh, wrapped in this uh, like plain text way. It's very difficult for us to distinguish between different columns, different fields, uh, the, the fields separated by commas. And also it's very annoying that there is this is wrapping in the um, uh, in the editor. So the first thing that we can do is we can disable the wrapping and see this rows, its row in a uh, in a new line um, spanning the full width of the editor. So the first thing you can do is you can open up the command palette search for toggle word wrap and disable the word wrap so now it's much easier to work with every single row because it um, takes up the whole space of the screen the problem with this one is that if you open up another file you will have to go through this toggle uh, on and off again so if i open up like another web uh, another csv file you will see that uh okay let me go through some uh, larger ones okay still the same thing so I have to open up the command palette toggle the word wrap which is rather annoying so one thing that we can do is we can set uh, up VS code so that every time we open up a CZ file we don't have this annoying wrap to 80 characters or less in order to do that I'm going to go to uh, the settings so I'm going to open up the settings and I'm going to uh, use the lang uh, filter here in order to search for settings for a particular uh, file format or language. So I'm going to use CSV and I'm going to add wrap. So now I'm searching for the settings in VS Code um, uh, that are related with CSV files. As you can see here, I have this setting, which is the word wrap column. Now, if I want to disable this for the CSV files, I can set something, uh, a large number, let's say 1024, so that this is large enough so that every single file that I open is um, uh, displayed in full width and is not wrapped in the uh, in the screen. Of course, we can go up higher to 2000, I don't know. Now, if I, if I, if I have this setting um, right here, I can now open up another file and you will see that it's still like full uh, width. Um, so there's no wrapping or at least the wrapping is large enough so that I don't see, um, uh, you know, large like uh, lines containing characters, uh, many characters uh, wrapping in another line. So one good thing that we can do is set this uh, word wrap column specifically for the CSV because I don't want this wrapping to be applied to markdown files or other plain text files. Now, if I open up the settings, uh, the JSON file, you can see that this has a very specific setting at the bottom. You, uh, you can also use this and manually copy and paste this, um, uh, these three lines in your settings JSON. So as you can see, this is only related to CSV files and the setting only applies to CSV files. So we're not, um, it's not applied to, to other files. So that's one thing that we can do and work with CSVs more efficiently. The other thing we can do is we can install an extension called Rainbow CSV that will um, uh, kind of like uh, apply a color highlighting to different uh, columns in this file. So I will go to my extensions and I will search for Rainbow CSV. And then I already have CSV installed, but it's not enabled. So I'm going to enable. And now when I have this Rainbow CSV uh, installed, you can see that every single uh, column is highlighted in different color. So it's much easier like to see whether, for example, this uh, beginner um, is related to this field, uh, to the level, and uh, also this is related to the completed and so forth. So this is a really, really nice uh, way to highlight uh, with a different color, the different uh, columns. So Rainbow CSV. And another extension that you saw earlier is the Excel viewer. We'll find the links to this in the description below. So the Excel viewer allows us to have a more kind of like a spreadsheet uh, view and be able to, to edit and read the CSV files um, just like we're uh, 
um, you are used to when we're using Excel or, or Google Spreadsheet. So if I um, if I have this extension um, installed, I can go to a CSV file and I can right click here and select reopen editor with and I can select the CSV editor and as you can see I can now uh, see the CSV file much like an Excel spreadsheet so I can go here read I can also filter these um, uh, columns according to this um, uh, to this header uh, column either ascending or descending so there are some really really cool options I can also edit things here I can change the values here and it is automatically saved uh, or you can uh, hit control save if you don't have like auto save enabled so that's yet another way uh, another cool way to handle manipulate read uh, csv files of course um, you can al always re uh, work with csv files in some spreadsheet application for example um, the google spreadsheet you can always import a CSV file in Google Spreadsheet. So you open up a new spreadsheet and you go to File, Import, and then you upload the CSV file. And after the file has been uploaded, you can select the comma separator. Um, I will disable this one. And then you import the data and you can work with a CSV file through the uh, Google Spreadsheet. Of course, you can use Microsoft Excel, uh, LibreOffice, and other uh, software like Numbers for uh, Mac, and so forth. And of course, when you finished with this, with editing this, um, this spreadsheet, you can also download and export a CSV file. So you can go to File, um, and then Download, and then CSV. So you work in this environment, and then you download and have um, still have a CSV file. So these are some ways to work with CSV files, either through uh, external application or through VS Code. Hope this uh, uh, video helped. Let us know in the comments below. Please like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.